Okay, so remember, if you are listening to this at home, make sure that you pause the video so that you can write down the notes on the projector. Today we are going to be factoring a perfect square trinomial. This is not going to be any different than the factoring that we've done so far with the box method. So the first thing that I do when I factor is I look for a term or a common factor that goes into all three numbers. So is there a number that goes into 4, 36, and 81? In this case, there's not, so we can proceed directly to the box. So I draw my box. I put the first term in the first box. I put the last term in the last box. And then I multiply them. Now, remember, if you're having trouble multiplying or doing any of this arithmetic in your head, feel free to use a calculator. And in this case, 81x, 81 times 4x squared is 340, so, no, 324x squared. And we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give me 324x squared, but add to give me the middle term, which is 36. Now, in this case, these two numbers are 18 and 18. So 18 plus 18 is 36. 18 times 18 is 324. So we can go ahead and put 18 um, in the box. Then going across, we look for the greatest common factor that goes into both 81 and 18. In this case, it's 9. Going this way across, the biggest, greatest common factor that goes into both 4x squared and 18 is 2 and x, because these two both have an x. Then, going up, the greatest common factor that goes into both 4x squared and 18x is 2x. And the greatest common factor going into both 18x and 81 is 9. We can check our box. 2 times 2 is 4. 9 times 2 is 18. 2 times 9 is 18. And 9 times 9 is 81. So we see that our box works. And so our factors of this perfect square trinomial are 2x plus 9 and 2x plus 9. Now, remember that if we have the same factor written twice, a way to condense this is to say that it is 2x plus 9 quantity squared. Because they're exactly the same. There's two of them. We can say it's squared. Moving on to the next example. Again, pause the video if you need to write it down. In this case, we are talking about the difference of squares. Difference of squares is an expression whose factors are almost exactly the same with opposite signs. And what you're going to want to look for is ax squared minus bx, where a and b are perfect squares. So in this case, as you can see, we've got x squared minus 16. Now, this doesn't have three terms like the, the ones that we've been factoring before. But we can write it with three terms. We can say it's x squared plus 0x plus negative 16. OK? And so then we can go ahead and draw our box. x squared goes here. Negative 16 goes here. And we multiply diagonally. x squared times negative 16 is negative 16x squared. So I'm finding two numbers that multiply to give me negative 16x squared, but when I add them, I get 0. Now you're asking yourself, what numbers multiply to give you negative 16 but add to give you 0? Anytime numbers are adding to give you 0, they are the exact same number, just both po one's positive and one's negative. So for example, negative 4 and positive 4, when I add those, I get 0. But when I multiply negative 4 times positive 4, I get, po I get negative 16. So in this case, it works. And it's always going to be the same number, just positive and negative. 
So we go to our box, we put them in the box, negative 4x and positive 4x. Going across, what number goes into both 4x and negative 16? It's 4. What number goes into both x squared and negative 4x? That's just x, or if you like, 1x. Going up, what number goes into both x squared and, negative, and 4x? We get 1x. And what number goes into negative 4x and negative 16? That's 4. Now, I don't like to work with the negatives until the very end, and then I can go back and double check. So, 1 times 1 is 1x squared. 1 times 4 is not negative 4. However, if I make this 4 negative, negative 4 times 1 is still negative 4. Positive 1 times positive 1 is still positive 1x squared. So this works. 1 times 4 is 4, and negative 4 times positive 4 is negative 16. So we can say that our answers or our factors are 1x minus 4 and 1x plus 4. So these are our two factors. Last example. This again is a difference of squares. It's just a little bit more complicated when we have the number in front of the x squared. Now I like to double check, is there a number that goes into 24, 25 and 64? No, there's not. So, we can go directly to drawing our box. I put the first term in the first box. I put the last term in the last box. And then I multiply them. 25 times 64 is 1,600. Negative 1,600. So I'm finding two numbers that multiply to give me negative 1,600, but when I add them, well, what's the middle term here if there's none written? Zero. So I could write this as 25x squared plus 0x plus negative 64. So the zero is not written. It's implied that it's there. Now, remember, that when we're adding to get zero in the middle, these have to be the exact same number, just positive and negative. So, in this case, it's 40 and negative 40. 40 times negative 40 is negative 1600. 40 plus negative 40 is zero. So we take the 40 and the negative 40 and we put them in the box. with x's. Going across, what goes into both negative 40 and negative 64? Well, that's 8. What goes into 25x squared and 40x? That's 5 and x. Going up this direction, what goes into both 25x squared and negative 40x? That's 5 and x. And going up this way, what goes into both 40x and negative 64? That's 8. Let's double check. 5x and 5x is 25x squared. 8 times 5 is 40x. 5 times 8, well, that's a problem. That's not negative 40. But if I made the 8 negative, everything else will be fine, and also it will work in this case. So 5 times negative 8 is negative 40, and 8 times negative 8 is negative 64. So our answers are 5x plus 8 and 5x minus 8. Now, a nice little pattern that I notice when I do this problem is that I notice that the square root of 25 is 5, and that's how we got the 5s. The square root of 64, that's 8, and that's how we got the 8. It's just that it's plus 8 and minus 8. If you can remember that pattern, it might make things a little bit easier for you. But again, the box works regardless of, you of if you remember patterns or not. So. Feel free to watch this video again if you um, still don't understand. Thank you.